Hi, if you're watching this video, then it's because you want to know if your laptop can run without the battery. The quick answer is almost certainly yes. Almost every laptop, whether you have an external removable battery or an internal non-removable battery, should be able to run without that battery working or present. Well, maybe your battery no longer works, maybe it no longer holds a charge, maybe you are replacing your battery and you're waiting for the replacement to come in and in the meantime you still want to use your laptop or maybe you just don't want to mess with the battery at all and you want to know if you can use your laptop just like a desktop computer where it's plugged in all the time at your desk or workstation and like i said before the answer to that is probably yes so how does this work how does your laptop work without the battery plugged in or without a battery inside the laptop well, the answer is fairly simple. If you understand how laptops work and how it handles the power management, then you can see why a laptop would work without the battery installed in the first place. So the first thing we're gonna do on your laptop to show you how this works is to go to the device manager. And you can see here in the device manager that you have a listing for batteries. If you open that list up, you'll see two things. Depending on your laptop, it may be slightly different in the naming. The first one you'll see is the Microsoft AC adapter. That is the power source from your AC adapter. That is what you're actually plugging in. That is your charger. The other entry you have is the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery. That is the power management when the computer is using the battery for power. And you'll see that both of these are, it's two distinct devices in the device manager. And that's because your laptop can use either one as a source of power. And I can show you how this works because I can actually, right now on this laptop, I do have a battery installed and I also have it plugged into the AC adapter. I can show you quickly that it will work without the battery by disabling this device here. So how does this show that the laptop could run without a battery? Well, if you look down here in the, in the uh, taskbar, you'll see that the battery shows with the icon and you, it shows that it's available and plugged in and currently charging. If I go up to the Microsoft ACPI compliant control battery, right click and disable the device, you'll see that down in the taskbar, the battery icon has disappeared. Windows 10 and your laptop they do not, they no longer recognize that there's a battery installed in your laptop and it is purely using the Microsoft AC adapter for power. I can go back up to this device and enable it again. And once it refreshes, you can see that the battery icon has indeed come back and it's now charging again. So now let's do a quick proof of concept. I'm gonna turn my laptop off, disassemble it and take the battery out of the laptop. This is an internal laptop battery. And then we'll plug it back in and make sure that it does indeed turn on. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly take off the back cover here in the video and you can see that the internal battery has a small connection here. I'm going to remove that carefully with a small screwdriver and make sure that that is disconnected and you can see that when I try to turn the laptop back on without the battery connected it is not coming on. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the AC adapter and the laptop will now come on and everything is working great. Hopefully this video helped answer any questions that you have about using your laptop without a battery and showing you that you can indeed use your laptop without a battery, depending on whatever situation it is that you need to do it in. It should be completely fine with no issues at all running it without the battery. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, showing you how to deal with common computer issues, how to and any other questions that you have about laptops and computers in general. If you have a specific question that I haven't addressed yet in the channel, be sure to drop a comment on this video and I will be sure to address it in the comments and maybe even make a video for your question at a later date. Thanks.